$3.9 billion of crypto was hacked or stolen in 2022 alone. 2021 saw about $3.2 billion vanish, which was already a six-fold increase compared to 2020. The question is, with both legislators and prosecutors out for blood, will this year be any different? Meet ETHX by Stata Labs, a liquid staking token designed to keep Ethereum decentralized while being accessible, reliable, and rewarding. More on them later. A study by ImmuneFi found that $174 million was lost to fraud and that $3.7 billion was lost to hackers last year. The Ronin, BNB chain, Wormhole, and FTX cases alone were responsible for the majority of these funds. And with all the recent high-profile seizure headlines, you might be thinking, great. If we stop funds from going to North Korean hackers, that's net positive. But as it turns out, it's not only overseas hackers and criminal organizations that we need to be worrying about in the wild west of crypto. Yesterday, in a surprising turn of events, US authorities arrested Shakib Ahmed, a New York-based security engineer. He's accused of stealing $9 million of crypto from a decentralized exchange. The decks in question remains unnamed, but the details align with the July 2022 exploit of Kramer Finance, which is a Solana-based liquidity protocol. Now, the indictment states that Ahmed exploited a vulnerability in the exchange's smart contracts by inserting fake pricing data and generating inflated fees, which he was eventually able to withdraw. Yes, that's some sneaky dev activity that went on right under our noses, but the feds don't appear to be deterred by either the relatively small size of the case or the challenge of tracing the funds. It appears both the exchange exchange and its users were defrauded, and the US attorney Damien Williams said it doesn't matter whether somebody steals money from a bank or defrauds a decentralized crypto exchange. It's all fraud, plain and simple, SDNY is watching. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? So how did he think he was gonna get away with it? He tried to launder the stolen assets by exchanging them and sending them overseas. According to a special agent in charge though, Ahmed's skills were no match for the cyber crimes unit. And before we show you Ahmed's juicy search history, a quick word from Stada. Stada is a non-custodial multi-chain liquid staking platform for POS blockchains. With about $100 million in TVL, 50,000 wallets, and 200,000 community members across six chains, Stada is now live on Ethereum with ETHX. ETHX is a liquid staking token designed to keep the Ethereum ecosystem decentralized by being accessible, reliable, and rewarding. The ETHX smart contracts have been triple audited, prioritizing the utmost security of your assets. As part of the launch incentives, Stata has earmarked $1 million in rewards with 1.5x staking rewards and $800,000 in upcoming LP rewards. Power up your ETH with ETHX. Stake now. Now back to our story. Ahmed's internet search history revealed that he was researching whether his actions would result in prosecution, how he might flee the US, and how to avoid extradition. However, according to the US attorney Williams, none of those actions covered the defendant's tracks or fooled law enforcement. And with even the smaller hacks and exploits getting attention from the feds, this could become a prominent trend over the coming year. BNB Chain, for instance, is looking to tackle future exploit risks with a hard fork to boost security measures and safeguard user assets. Meanwhile, OpenCover DeFi are working on providing DeFi hack protections. So going back to our timeline, how do the recent arrests, asset recoveries, and focus on security across the industry change your perspective on asset safety? Let us know in the comments, and as always, stay defiant.